Hello and welcome everyone. Julio Petrovich, Product Manager at NetAlly, here to show you very super quickly how to use the new Insights Intelligence on Link Live. And the way it works is pretty straightforward. First, go to Link Live and select your Air Mapper project or one of your Air Mapper projects. For example, this one I have here. Then after you load uh, your project, go to the upper right of the screen. And one thing you'll see is this little light bulb. Well, that's the new Insights Intelligence. So basically click there and that will open the Insights window here on the left side of the screen. And notice you'll have a few options here. Uh, of course, you'll have an option to close the window if you want to. But you also have the option of changing or editing the limits or pass fail thresholds technically. So if I click there, basically you have the option of turning on or off any of the pass fail thresholds or limits. You have the option of changing the thresholds if you want and so on. Then besides that, you have the option of filtering. So let's say that for this project, I only care about one specific SSID. So you can just select the filter and find my SSID. Double click on it and click on apply. So that will filter my survey project to only show me information about the SSID I want, which is what I want to run the insights engine on. And now basically you can just click on Run Insights. And what will happen here is that the Insights engine will compare your site survey results against the limits or pass-fail thresholds that you selected. And then it will automatically give you a quick pass or fail, basically simplifying the analysis. So instead of having to manually go through all the heat maps, yes, hey, go to the Insights engine, put in your thresholds and get the quick pass or fail. And on this example, everything looks pretty good. Well, most of it looks pretty good. For example, I have good coverage here. You can see, for example, that my limit was minus 65 DVM for first AP coverage. And the worst case was a minus 59 DVM, which is stronger, so that's good. Uh, same thing with SNR, hey, a nice SNR of 25 dB uh, is, is my limit. I have the worst case is a 32 dB, so that works good. Quick channel interference, not too bad. And then when we start having problems is with adjacent channel interference. So for example, my limit or threshold is only one AP causing adjacent channel interference. But in this case, the worst case we saw is uh, up to six APs. So how can I see uh, which areas have the most problems or in this case, adjacent channel interference problems? Well, you can use the little spyglass uh, next to the threshold, click on apply. And that will automatically apply a series of filters that will allow you to see basically which areas have the most adjacent channel interference problems. And on this uh, example here, it's pretty bad. Basically, you can see if I mouse over anywhere that we have uh, six APs, you have five APs there, you have five APs here. So yep, basically on this site, uh, we have a fair amount of problems uh, with adjacent channel interference. Oh, also, last thing very quickly here, guys, I want to show you. Uh, notice that this little eye here to the right of the thresholds or the options uh, called info. Basically, if you click in there, you'll get more information about that problem. For example, adjacent channel interference and recommendations on what to do about it. So, hey, we try to keep it simple. Basically, give you a quick pass or fail, uh, tell you why you're having a problem and how to fix it. So anyway, guys, uh, that's about it. Uh, pretty quick and simple. Thank you for watching.